Welcome to PPT Genix. So in today's video, we are going to learn how to create a similar world map in a graphic template. So let's begin. So here we have one world map. Okay. So first of all, we are going to change the color of the background. So we'll choose solid fill. All right. And the color of the background is going to be exactly same as that of the map. So now we're going to select the map and let's give it some shadow effect. So in the preset, let's give this shadow effect and let's just reduce the transparency. Increase the size. Perfect. And just increase the blurness. All right. Rest everything, I guess, is perfect for me. Okay. Now in the next step, I am just going to reduce the size of this map a little bit. All right. And I'm going to press Ctrl D to make the exact copy. So I'm going to put it aside. So for the first map, I am just going to do some changes. So we'll go to the material and then in the translucent, I'm going to give it this effect. Now I'm going to bring my other map exactly on top of the previous one like this. Um, let's shift it a little bit like this. Okay. So now by pressing the Ctrl A, I'm going to select both the maps together. If you want, you can just decrease the size of the shadow like this. All right. So now in the next step, I'm going to go both the maps. All right. So perfect. Now in the next step, we'll go to the insert option. We'll go to the icons. And in the icons, we are going to select the location icon. So in the location, this is the one that we are going to select. And in the graphic fill, let's give it some blue shade. All right. Let's reduce its size. Okay. And let's place it wherever we want. So here, it's going to be around Spain, UAE. India and Philippines. So what do we do? All right. So now in the next step, uh, we are going to insert a text box. So let's just insert the text box over here and write global audience. Okay, fine. And let's give it this color and then increase the size. Perfect. So this is our first slide, which is ready. Now in the next step, we are going to insert a rectangle. So let's go to the shapes and let's insert a rectangle and let it be like this. It should cover the whole slide like this. All right. Now in the next step, we are going to send it backwards like this. Okay. And now in the next step, we are going to set the transparency to 100%. All right. Now, in the next step, we are going to select the rectangle. We'll go to the insert option. We'll go to the action. Okay. So here we will click action. And here we are going to select mouse over. Then we will go to the hyperlink to and where we want to have a link to our current slide that is slide number seven so we'll go to the slide and then just select slide number seven like this and then press ok all right fine now in the next step we are just going to make the exact copy of the same slide like this okay and here we'll just change the size of this location icon and as well as the color so we'll change it to red color fine and instead of the global audience we are just going to write name of the country and let's shift it to middle now in the next step we'll insert 
uh, graph that is we'll go to the chart option we'll go to the pie chart option we are going to select the donut chart okay so you can change the name of the chart and everything over here so right now i'm not doing it i'm just removing four quarters third quarter and the data as well so here i'm just going to fill the data 21 by 79.7 and we just close this chart we just adjust the size of this donut chart and place it over here we are going to remove this data we are going to remove the heading also okay now in the next step this we are going to select we'll go to the format option and we are going to change the color to exactly the same color as of our slide like this okay and for this part we will select no shape outline and for this the shape fill is going to be the color you want all right and the shape outline again is going to be the outline. now we'll go to the shape format option and let's just give some round bubble all right perfect now in the next step we are just going to select the animation and in the animation we are going to select the wheel animation like this and we go to the animation pane in the drop down menu we are going to select start with reviews fine now in the next step we are just going to add the text box one more time and here instead of india we will replace it to 21 percent Oh. If you want, you can just give a lighter shade to the other part as well. Okay, somewhat of this kind. Now, this is very important step. Now, we'll go to our previous slide again. Here, we are going to select this location icon. Then, we will go to our insert option, actions, then select mouse over and hyperlink it the slide number eight and then hit the okay button all right so now i'm going to show you the preview for the same so if i put my cursor on this icon automatically the slide opens and if i remove my cursor from there it automatically goes to the previous slide because we have a rectangle over there. 